The Trailblazers play before the hometown crowd here in downtown Portland, Oregon. With Brent Berry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. For the Portland Trailblazers, they come into tonight's game after the loss to the Spurs. Yeah, but when you shoot a percentage in the low 30s as a team, and they did that in that game, it is just not going to be your night. Yeah, you check the stat sheet and you can dominate just about every other facet of the game, but it's not going to make up for anything if you shoot the ball at such a low percentage. And with pregame routines coming to an end, we're just about ready for our tip-off. First, though, let's get a report from the sideline and say hello to David Aldridge. Well, guys, John Wall was the number one overall pick in 2010, but he still thinks he's got a lot left to prove. Now, a bone spur in his knee held him back for several years. He's gotten the surgery now, and he says... Some people get their success early. Some get theirs late. I feel like my time is just beginning. Kevin? Certainly one to watch, David. Thanks. Brent, you played for 14 seasons. What kind of off-season training did you do personally to keep in shape? I had a great trainer in uh, Southern California that I would go home to uh, every year and, and work on different things. It was funny, Kevin, because as you get a little bit older, you can be a little more specific with how you train you understand how you're going to be used the type of minutes you're going to play so it can be a little bit more specialized i'm not sure if i could tell you this but i surfed a lot in the off season balance balance the, the core, balance, core, core, right? core core balance all right thank good. you thank you <laughs> check box and now washington starting group inside we've got morris and howard Paul and Beal pair together at the one and the two. And it's Porter in at the small forward position. And it's sent back by Turner. Porter kicks to Howard. And it's Wall in the corner. Shoots over Lillard. Wall's shot is off. Here's McCollum. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Well, CJ, one of those exemplary players that stayed all four years at Lehigh and then came into the league very, very polished and, and very ready uh, for everything that the league was going to throw at him. Not just the defenses on the court, but the NBA lifestyle in general. And he learned to be a great leader here in Portland alongside Damian Lillard. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And for McCollum, rare does someone who stayed all four years end up being such a star at the NBA level. Well, McCollum's done just such a great job of improving his game, even after coming into the league so polished. And, and how fortunate for Portland in the wake of losing one of their all-time greats in LaMarcus Aldridge to fill some of that scoring gap with a talented player like C.J. McCollum. McCollum, one of the best shooters in the NBA. Any range, bet any shot, he can knock it down. Yeah, a little bit of a down year in 18 for Lillard, but the way that he can score and the efficiency with which he can score is just remarkable. I really like to watch the pace he plays with, Kevin. I mean, he, he finds spots on the floor to get to uh, and has that length and, and kind of never sped up sort of mentality on the offensive end. Becomes very, very dangerous. And here's Wall after Damian Lillard was able to get the three to go. And Wall kicks to Morris. Got a hand on it. A great shot blocker from the combo forward. Aminu's length helping him there. And here are the Trailblazers now. This, their first look at this year's Washington squad. And really, this is a team that expects to beat everyone when they step on the floor, but they were only able to split the series last year. And they don't want a repeat of what happened last year here. They know this is an opponent they can handle, and they don't want to give away anything like they did last year. And here is Morris. Now Peru Camino just getting that three to go from deep. And right now they're like a light switch in the off position. One of five so far. Not an ideal start. And it's sent back by Howard. Well, that's where he is just a force. Such a great internal clock in terms of his timing to go up and block those shots, Kevin. 
Nurkic kicks to Turner, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to go on Otto Porter Jr. Shooting for Portland. Evan Turner, the former number two pick out of Ohio State, is a very good ball handler, and he plays kind of in that mid-range game to, to look for space, not only to score, but to set up teammates. And I think uh, coaching staff loves to have him play that point forward position to dictate some I'm of the offense and take the load off the guard. And that one falls for Turner. And with Turner, he has underachieved Brent as far as where he was taken in the draft, but he offers a lot of unique skills to a team. Yeah, the biggest drawback is Evan Turner at his size. You'd want him to shoot the three-point ball with a little bit more consistency. So I know he plays in the box a bit, and he, he likes to play in the mid-range game. But there are some things offensively, I think, that he can do to take advantage of some mismatches and, uh, and put some points on the board. And Wall kicks to Morris. Screen by Howard. Howard with a screen on McCollum. And another miss by Washington like the defensive effort they did a good job altering the mid-range shot and then making the shooter feel a bit uneasy and here on the first approaching three minutes played and it's Howard finishing it off you cannot give Howard a clear lane to the rim he's terrific at throwing it down there especially off the quick first step three-pointer Lillard that's his second shot and his second basket he's two for two this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowed. Here's Morris. That one a little long. Yeah, a bit frigid to begin this one. Just can't make anything to get the game started. Nurkic setting the pick for McCollum. Over Beal. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Wizards trail by eight. Right side wall. Shoots over Lillard. Nice D from Lillard. And Portland with the ball. They're on a 13-5 run. And Aminu kicks to Lillard. Misses the three. And it's Washington's ball. And here is Morris. Coming off a stellar performance against Toronto. Aminu with it. 18 feet out. Portland no good that time either. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. That's a two from Lillard. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Yeah, bad shot there. Trust is lacking. You, you got to be willing to make the extra pass. Yep, just too anxious to try and make something happen out there. This is about the team, not about you. Now here's Beal. A 17-point game for him in the win against Toronto. And we got to talk about his four steals on the night. That's a complete performance at both ends of the floor. So timeout called here. The first for Washington. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. You know, sometimes you're going to win because of your performance. And, and on occasions, which was the case for them, it's the play of your opponent that allows you to escape with wins. Yeah, they were up against a team that struggled all night to get things under control. Mistakes and turnovers and just sloppy play all game long. And here's Ball outside. I'm going to go that time. Good work defensively by Lillard. Nurkic the pass to Aminu. Lillard. Porter pulls it in. Not a lot of defense there. You can't afford to let guys shoot freely from the mid-range. They're not going to miss those all that often. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Now, here's Nurkic following the miss by John Wall. And here we go with Morris running it up the court. And it's good off the back rim and in. It took him a while, but he finally gets one to fall. Portland leading by six. And Turner kicks to Aminu. Portland moving the ball around. Passes it to Howard. Hard to deny many of the skills that Dwight Howard brings to the floor on a nightly basis. Not just a force on defense, but has those nights on offense where he can be imposing as well. 
And guys, Dwight Howard, a top 20 all-timer in rebounding, an eight-time All-Star center. Greg, will he be a Hall of Famer someday, you think? Oh, he's a lock to be a Hall of Famer. When you look at those numbers, not to mention a three-time defensive player of the year, and at his peak, one of the most impactful big men we've seen in the game. Free throw good, Howard. And Howard may be the most physically imposing player in the game today. His strength still sets him apart. That one is no good. The Blazers known for their explosive offense, but Brent, their defense became one of the stronger in the league. Yeah, I think that's what propelled them to the third seed. Top five last season in a lot of defensive metrics. Great rebounders and a good job of challenging shots. They play in a, a bit of a, a drop position where they're always protecting the paint and not overextending themselves. It's been successful for the coaching staff. Here is Howard. He definitely had a good game in their win against the Raptors. Lays it in off the pretty alley-oop. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. Lillard, the pass to Nurkic. And the Raps are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. And, Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way. As much as you just saw him do there, glad they pinned a, a flagrant on him. Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he makes the first. Yusuf Nurkic, a free agent this past summer. A lot of big men, Brent, on the market, and he flew under the radar. Well, this team knows maybe how good Nurkic can be because they see him in practice all the time. They're just looking for a little bit more consistency in terms of the effort from him. The next few seasons of his development was really going to be a, a critical part of Nurkic's career. Austin Rivers, he's checked in for the Wizards. Outstanding start from three-point range. Their shooters are on fire. Screen by Howard. Rivers kicks to Howard. And stolen by Lillard. Jumps up. And Damian Lillard with the jam. Good hands by Lillard. You cannot get lazy or he'll pick your pocket and go the other way. Rivers against Lillard. Rivers passes to Morris. Outside for Beal. Pass to Rivers. Beal with a screen for Rivers. Screen by Howard to end the run. And the Wizards getting another bucket right there. Really like to see Howard involved in that screen, using his body to clear out plenty of space for his teammates. Three-pointer, Lillard. Rebound, Washington. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. And really nothing like a good old-fashioned throwdown to get a team going. And Greg, they do need to get going. They wouldn't mind, you know, shaving a couple more points off that lead right away. Yeah, they should bring out a big razor right now, Kevin. A great start, an aggressive move to show they're not going to lay down. Now here's Beal following the miss by C.J. McCollum. There's the three. Beal can't get it to go. Trailblazers leading by six. McCollum outside. Aminu with the screen on Beal. Off the screen, McCollum, and the jumper falls for him. Just a nice read from McCollum there, working off of screens and losing his defender. Rivers kicks to Porter. Howard at the elbow. Back to Porter. Beal from long range. Offensive rebound. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. Taking a look here at some numbers for Dwight Howard. Last season, he played outstanding. Third in rebounding. 
seventh in blocks and a great touch around the rim top 15 in field goal percentage and as you said a top three rebounder last season he just seems to know how the shot's going to come off the rim and he always hustles to get there and the first one at the line is good who do you think is best at converting off his off hand I, I really do like Mike Conley in Memphis when he gets to and I love his timing on it Kevin that running right hand hook shot that he shoots from about eight feet and one of the reasons I'm so enamored with it is because Mike will shoot it in the fourth quarter with under 30 seconds to go on a critical possession that to me screams of confidence a tremendous offhand by Mike Conley. means the most he'll use that move. Yeah and, and I'm not saying that Kyrie Irving won't do it with his left in Boston but when Mike Conley pulls it out at some of the moments where you just say wow a right handed runner with 40 seconds to go fourth quarter good on you Mike Conley. Oh such a field shot there the photo. Back to Sadoransky. Kicks it to Green. Unloads from 13. He can't get that one, so the Trailblazers will take it the other way. Lillard outside. Offline with his three. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. And how's that for some ups coming from that one? Well, he is a rarity among NBA point guards in his ability to elevate. Got to love the fact that going vertical is a major part of what makes him so difficult as a point guard to defend, especially around the rim. Yeah, that's pretty much a perfect pass, and that's also alliteration. And that unleashed chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. Oubre, good. He used that screen to perfection and got a wide open look to knock down the jumper. Curry against Rivers. Curry kicks to Leonard beyond the arc. Oubre pulls it in. Wizards trail by six to the paint. And there's Howard. That's good on the assist by Rivers. Howard's got his third bucket of the night. A soft touch there from Dwight, gifted at measuring those interior shots. To the middle, here's Leonard, buries it down low. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass nice assist. The pass to Rivers. Green inside the three-point line, rebound by the Trailblazers. Here's Lillard. Oh, he jams it right over Kelly Oubre. Wow! Big time drive from Lillard and the contact. He has the mindset just to slough it off. And Sadoransky kicks to Uber. Back to Sadoransky. Howard setting the pick for Green. Six on the shot clock. Over Harkless. And it's going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And while we have a chance, let's take a look at the best free throw shooters in the league from last season. Damian Lillard, third. He was locked and loaded from the free throw line all season. Never suffered through any real lulls in that department. Outside for Curry. Leonard with a screen on Rivers. Five to shoot. Curry dishes to Leonard. And that misses badly. Air ball. Pass to Green. Over Harkless. And it's Green missing. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. They set the pick. Sadoransky, the pass to Green, fades and shoots. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. No other way to put it. Just a rough quarter in terms of scoring. He has not been healthy at all. Lillard misses. And that's just good offense. Surprised he blew that one. And the defense is too. 
And so it's Portland going into the break with a 10-point lead. They've been giving John Wall all sorts of problems. He still hasn't been able to solve their defense. Right back after this break. Great team play, so key to winning. Damian Lillard broke down the key. Be a star in your role. You know, I think it's one thing to say, let's be consistent. Let's play hard. Let's do all of these things. And I think as competitors, as professional athletes, we're going to play hard. You're going to be competitive because we're competitors. We don't make it to this level for no reason. Um, but I think at this level, you also have egos. Knowing your role and playing it so well is so crucial. Yeah, when everybody buys in and plays for one another, that's when teams play their best ball. Welcome back, everyone. A lopsided first quarter in the books already as we start the second quarter. Guys, what stands out from the Blazers so far? A huge fan of how they have rotated here defensively, been able to challenge multiple shots. And if you're rotating like that, it's got to be a great line of communication between all five guys. You see that reflected on the scores. All that trust showing up with the lead. They've got Curry. Harkless is out there with Stauskas. Then it's Damian Lillard and it's Leonard in at the center position. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. That free throw, no good. Over the last decade or so, a huge transformation, Brent, in the way games are played. Do you see any additional changes on the horizon? I, I wonder if the league will think about, and I think it'd be interesting, if they had a three-point line that just disintegrated into the side. We have the split, and we have the archway, right? We go down the sidelines. Really interesting if the league, maybe in summer league, experimented with the three-point line being equidistant the whole way around. And going right out of bounds. Yes, yeah, so right out of bounds, it eliminates the corner three. It would, it would impact the way you would defend the corner shot because now it doesn't have a, a value of three. One point more for a shorter shot seems to be a little unfair as it is and we know it's the most valuable shot in basketball There's no doubt but uh, I wonder how that would look and maybe Adam Silver and the committee will look at a summer league where the three point line just disappears in the sideline eliminating the corner three that is really good work there on the offensive glass Leonard with a screen on Zadaransky Lillard Zadaransky grabs the miss Wizards trail by seven and that's a foul called on Nick Stauskas that's foul number two for him. And that's foul number two. Maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. And Zedaransky kicks to Mahimi. A nice shot by Rivers. That's what you get with a bigger guard, a guy that can carve out a little bit more space, and Rivers does a good job that time. Leonard with a screen on Zadaransky. Lillard misses. Well, after getting off to a great start, hitting those first two shots, he's definitely regressed a little bit in this quarter. Now here's Rivers. He had 13 points in the win against Toronto. And guys, in addition to that scoring, he was absolutely tenacious on the defensive end. A complete two-way game for him. Finished with three steals, I think, and that was a difference maker. Now, here's Lillard following the mess by Austin Rivers. Leonard with a screen on Zadaransky. Knocked loose. Shot clock at six. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, Bradley Beal became a first-time All-Star in 2018, but he knows the next step is becoming a better leader. He said, sometimes I can be nonchalant, locked into myself and not saying anything. It's just my personality, and as a leader, you can't be that way. You have to encourage your teammates and don't be afraid to say things. Don't be afraid to be a leader. Kevin? Good story, D.A. Thank you. So it's Washington now after the Trailblazers pick up two. Green kicks to Mahimi. Shoots over Leonard. And another miss by Washington. And he completely threw the timing off on that jumper. That is how you D up. Playing with tremendous aggressiveness without fouling. It's an excellent up. 
and they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Passes to Mahimi. There's a good screen. Screen against Lillard. From about 19 feet, count the basket. Green's got his first two points. And a smooth jump shot from the veteran Green there. These are looks he nails consistently. Pass to Leonard. Misses, and he wants that one back. And that was an easy one there, just a missed opportunity. Sometimes everything can go right, but the shot doesn't go down. Nothing there is automatic. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope, he, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Lillard misses. Yeah, another missed opportunity, and, and you can just see the frustration. Yeah, when your shot's in the fridge like this, it's easy to lose your confidence, and that's why some of the most prolific scorers, they have short-term memories. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run following the steal. And Zedaransky kicks to Rivers. Rivers sets the pick for Oubre off the pick. They shoot again. A shot by Mahimi, no good. Trailblazers leading by seven. Harkless, the pass to Lillard. Shoots over Sadaransky. Wow, way off on that one. The Wizards shooting 36% in the second quarter. They really haven't found their rhythm yet offensively. Stauskas inside the line, and he makes good on his first shot of the game. Stauskas has got his first bucket of the night. Wizards trail by nine. You know, Kelly Oubre is an X factor for the Wizards. Last season, stepping into the six man role, still very young. He could help take them to the next level. Now, here's Green, heartless with the steal. And now Portland on the break. The dish to Curry. Fades back. The shot by Harkless, no good. And Kelly Oubre taken after one year at Kansas with the 15th pick of the 2015 draft. You know, he, he came in as a raw prospect, a, a five-star recruit in high school, plenty of potential. The Wizards not a lot of salary flexibility, no longer drafting in the lottery. Oubre might be their best shot at improving from within. A chance here to assess what parts of the four the attempts have been coming from as we look at the shot chart for the Wizards. And they are going where the going is good for them right now. The painted area, high percentage and high volume shots. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. That free throw good from Leonard. One of the better free throw shooting bigs in the NBA. The challenge for Leonard as he develops is to try to get to the line a few more times. Catching up on the changes for Portland. Al Farouk Aminu. He's checked in for Harkless. Turner comes in for Nick Stauskas. And it's C.J. McCollum in for Damian Lillard. And a new group getting ready to come in for Washington. Morris is checked in for Green. Otto Porter Jr. comes in for Oubre. Bradley Beals checked in for Austin Rivers. And John Walls subbed in for Sadoransky. Washington calls timeout. Yeah, it looked like they tried to shoot their way out of the slump, and that didn't work. They, they got to go back and regroup. Well, no matter how hard it's been, you want to stay positive, stay focused, and maybe a couple shots will get you right back in it. Norkic checked in for Leonard. And here's a look at the stats for Bradley Beal. Last year, getting it done. He put up about 22 points a game last season. Four assists and four rebounds. And he led the charge when it came to scoring. Led the team. Yeah, he shot the lights out all year long from a variety of spots on the floor of that versatility. Now, here's Porter. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. And you could see some miscommunication on the defensive end of the floor that time. No excuse for letting a player get that good a look on that possession. Here's Aminu. Eight-point game. Curry kicks to Nurkic. The shot from the low post is good. Well, the play from Nurkic was as good as they come. Terrific job getting deep inside there and nailing the shot. 
Wall dishes to Porter. Morris with a screen on Turner. And there's a foul. It's on C.J. McCollum. That's foul number two for him. And Beal kicks to Mahini. Oh, Morris in position. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. That shot missing. Over in the corner, Turner buries it from three-point range. Turner's got eight. How much opens up for this offense when Evan Turner is knocking down threes? Capable there. And the pass to Mahini. Now here is Morris. Turner covering. Morris against Aminu. The kick out to Wall. And again, Washington with the triple. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Trailblazers leading by 10. They set the pick. Screen by Nurkic. Pass to McCollum. Now here's Nurkic. Rebound by Mahimi. Mahimi's got rebound number five here tonight. Morris passes to Wall. Curry was a nice D. Portland's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. Aminu dishes to Turner. And it's sent back by Morris. They get it back, and that one is good. Wizards trail by 12. And the rebound by Nurkic. Nurkic has got three rebounds so far in the game. And Aminu kicks to Curry. Shot clock at six. Screen by Nurkic. Washington with the rebound. Morris has got his third rebound on the night. Frozen. Guy is just ice cold, unable to contribute offensively. Ball against Curry. Turner passes to McCollum. Aminu with a screen on Beal. And here's McCollum for three. Rebound, Washington. Shot from the top of the key. Beal can't get it to go. Trailblazers leading by 12. Beal with the block. But they recover it. Here's Turner. A shot, no good. Great D that time from Beal. Porter kicks to Wall. Passes it to Beal. Let's it go from deep. He's off on that one. Now Portland takes it the other way. Yeah, this has been a night where you can look at his shooting and his performance, and it's affected the team. That's the bottom line. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Fires for three. Nailed from three-point land. Beal's got to back down to single digits for the Wizards. Portland's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Curry passes to Nurkic. Back to Curry. Let's the three fly. Nail from three-point land. Curry's got nine. Now you could just tell in his gait and in the look on his face, he's in a great rhythm after a terrific first quarter. He is feeling it here in the second. Now here's Wall. 14 points from him the last game against Toronto. And guys, what impressed me most was his passing. He constantly looked for the open man and found guys in great spots. And we haven't seen them be quite as aggressive driving the basketball, settling far too much for jumpers. When we talk so much about accurate shooting, sometimes accurate passing can lead to great shooting. You saw it there. Screen by Nurkic. McCollum against Beal takes the 13-footer, and that misses everything. Well, few have more job security in the NBA than Terry Stotts. Consistently gets a ton out of his Portland Trailblazer team. They run a very intricate and unique offense now in his seventh year with the Blazers. They've had a lot of success under Coach Stotts. And with Terry Stotts last year, there were some rumblings about his job after the sweep. 
might have been a bit of a knee jerk reaction. Remember Portland slid into that third seed uh, with how close it was in the Western Conference and that might have added a bit more pressure but Portland does not have a lot of flexibility with their roster. Somehow Terry Stotts gets to 50 wins in any given year. Uh, so it might have been a poor decision and they saw through that and he's back for this season. And this is part of the reason they're down. The free throw line has not been kind to them this quarter. He hits the second from the line. Trailblazers leading by nine. Nurkic setting the pick for McCollum. Shoots over Beal. Outside for Curry. Pass to McCollum. Nurkic a screen on wall. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Here's a look at what's coming up for Washington. On Wednesday, they'll take on Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors. And then on Friday, they continue the road trip heading out to Sacramento to take on the Kings. Morris outside. Mahini a screen on Aminu. Morris kicks to Mahini. And there's the pass to Wall. Sinks the three-pointer. Wall's got nine points. Pretty much uh, poor defensive effort there. You have to get a hand in his face when he's spotting up from distance. Turner passes to Nurkic. He dishes it to McCollum. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. He has seven. Yeah, that one seemed to be just outside the building. McCollum showing off his deep, deep range. Morris with the screen for Wall. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Morris kicks to Wall. The baseline, Jay, off the mark. Outside, Turner. Pass to Aminu. And here's McCollum for three. Headshot misses. And so we wrap up the first half. Trailblazers lead by nine. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Here with head coach Terry Stotts. Coach, what has gone right for your team so far? Well, we've got a lot of energy. Uh, you know, getting stops and getting runouts is the biggest difference. And that gets your guards involved early in the offense. Thanks, coach. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings, friends and neighbors. One half down, another half to go. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. After two quarters, it's Portland out in front. They lead by nine points. Shaq, how do you think Portland played? I like their commitment to that inside game, boy. Get it inside to the post. Got to be scoring in the post, splashing to the basket. Just shoot the high percentage shot. No jumpers, no threes. They're being a more aggressive team, a more physical team. They're definitely going to win this game, right? Kenny, what's your take on Washington so far? Well, they're trailing in this game because they're shooting under 35%. Now, I've got to give a lot of credit to the defense, forcing the shooters off their spots and making them feel uncomfortable. But if someone takes something away from you, you have to be able to adapt. So they need a whole new game plan because right now they're in trouble. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for joining folks. us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. A look at the Hawthorne Bridge in gorgeous downtown Portland as we welcome you back to Oregon. Now the second half about to start up and begin any moment. We're seeing a tremendous game from Damian Lillard. Man, I just love how aggressive he is. Usually tries to work for the best shot that he can. Well, we saw that in the first half, and he's constantly on the move and slipping behind the eyes of the defense to work closer to the rim. Wizards trail by nine. Taking a look at the Wizards. Beal and Porter make up the perimeter. 
Inside, we've got Morris and Howard. And it's Wall in at the point guard position. And the offensive rebound and really the story here today. Even with the big lead, they're still showing more hustle on the board. That's a two from Lillard, and he hits the jumper for two. Lillard's got the first points to start out the third quarter for the Trailblazers. Wall passes to Morris. To the paint, changes up. That's tipped. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Morris with the rebound. Morris has got five rebounds tonight. Trying to break that ice cold streak. They have yet to hit a shot. A real slow start here in the second half. And it's Turner finishing it off. And a nice job, Evan Turner, slowing down, drawing the body contact, and now finding a chance for the end one. And Evan Turner, the former number two pick out of Ohio State, you know, acts as a utility knight for this team. He can wear a lot of different hats. His versatility might be his best trait. throw good Evan Turner and with Turner as you mentioned Greg he can play both wing spots and does whatever you need from him on offense well you like when he's playing in the post and, and bullying small wings much better from that area of the floor than from outside he also can act as a playmaker very adept at running the pick and roll and Markeith Morris out of Kansas, a spread four, as they say. And able to stripe it from anywhere on the floor. A good secondary scorer who can also create his own shot on the block at times. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. First free throw is good. And Morris drops them both. So it's Portland now. They get to take on the Magic in Orlando after this one. Sets in motion a four-game road trip for him. Got that one up quick. 19 points for Lillard. Yeah, three of four to start this half. Offensively, they've been great. In the corner, it's Morris. That's good. And so Wall with the assist. You can blame some poor defense on that play. Just a total breakdown. You gotta at least contest at some point. And Lillard kicks to Nurkic. McCollum up top. He's covered by Beal. And the basket by McCollum. Yeah, they've only missed one out of their first five shots here in the second half, guys. Their offense really moving well. Ball snapping, and the shooting looks to be in great rhythm. Now here's Porter. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. He gets it in there. Guys, he can get this shot anytime he wants. Now you bet with his height, not many defenders are going to challenge that mid-range jump shot. Lillard against Wall. McCollum with a screen on Howard. Nurkic dishes to McCollum. Those three-pointers off the mark. You know, he's usually very reliable from out there, but tonight it's just not going down. And that one is good from Bradley Beal. The mindset right now is pretty strong. Superb at staying aggressive and right now stringing some plays together. Turner against Porter. Baseline jumper. Washington with the rebound. Howard's got seven rebounds in the game. Stolen by McCollum. And it's the Trailblazers on the break. Launches the three. Good on the three-point shot. McCollum's got five points now in the quarter. Yeah, this is a tough one. The D is giving up way too many open looks, guys. And they're paying for it. 
And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, guys, it seems every season new records are set for the number of three-pointers made and attempted. It's proven to be successful, and, of course, it is a copycat lead. It's hard to know why it took so long for everyone to catch on, but now that they have, the effects continue to ripple throughout the league. They sure have, David. Thank you. A different look now for Portland. Myers Leonard, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Harkless comes in for Al Farouk Aminu. And Nick Stauskas is subbed in for Evan Turner. And then for Washington, Green, he's checked in for Markeith Morris. Oubre comes in for Otto Porter Jr. And it's Austin Rivers in for Bradley Beal. I swear Dwight Howard plays with a watch on. His timing is tremendous on those alley-oops. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour, Hover Hammond. Fires top of the key. It'll go. The Portland lead is cut to just nine points on the basket from Green. The Trailblazers have gone five of nine on field goal attempts since halftime. Lillard, the pass to Leonard. There's the screen. McCollum outside. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got four assists now tonight. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. And Wall kicks to Green. Howard setting the pick for Green. That one doesn't go. Great D that time from Leonard. And a wide open look for McCullum. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. Wall passes to Ubre. It's tipped. Here's Harkless. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Taking a look here at some numbers for Damian Lillard. He's coming off an excellent season. Third in free throw percentage, fourth in scoring, and he ranked in the top ten in assists. An incredible knack for drawing defenders and finding the open man. And just going back to his free throw efficiency, it's about confidence when you're at the line. You've always said it. He had it. That's how he ended up with the top three ranking. No good on the free throw. Sadoransky's checked in for John Wall. And he sinks the second. For Brent, we're seeing the Hackashack targets improve their free throw shooting. Rules changes might curb the strategy, though, going forward. Well, it's been nice to see that NBA players have worked on a weakness of theirs, free throw shooting in particular, to be better and, and be somebody who can stay on the floor to impact your team's winning. We saw that last year, Andre Drummond being a prime example. The other thing, Kevin, that we've seen, too, is coaches having to implement strategies, not just to do the hacking, but in terms of their substitutions and who's on the floor. So interesting thought processes from both ends, but mostly go shoot some free throws. Guys. Yeah, practice. Practice. For Washington, they have shot 70% for the free throw line tonight, 7 for 10. Yeah, and, and fairly decent a season ago, about 77% from the line. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And the first one drops. And so he makes both from the line. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Rivers against McCollum. No good on the shot. And Washington the other way now. Oubre, no one around him. No good off the back of the rim. Trailblazers leading by 14. Harkless dishes to Leonard. 
And that one drops for him. Leonard's got six. Well, he can be a good finisher at times in the paint. Leonard with the size and length to do more of this. Now, here's Sadoransky. He's got seven. Here's Green. And it's sent back by Leonard. Out to the wing. Here's Lillard. And it's Rivers with the rebound. Wizards trail by 16. Down low, Howard. And it's slammed in by Howard. Yeah, that guy hits the gym, Dwight Howard, and using his size and soft touch, he gets these in one opportunities. And Dwight Howard this past offseason on the move, Greg, once again. And Howard traded from Charlotte to Brooklyn soon after bought out by Brooklyn, making him a free agent. He's hopped from team to team over the last few years, and you wonder What's if he'll up? find a place to finish out his career. Free throw good, Howard. Portland leading by 13. Here's Stauskas. Up top, Leonard shoots. And it's Rivers with the rebound. Rivers has got three rebounds so far in the game. And it's sent back by Leonard. There's some good commitment for Myers Leonard on defense there. Gets his hands up and swats that one away. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Washington calls timeout. C.J. McCollum really made a difference here. The defense has to take the ball out of his hands. He's just knocking down every three-corner he takes right now. the shot chart as we see how things are going for McCollum and as this chart shows things just aren't falling for him like they usually do he isn't ice cold but nothing is falling his way and he's become an inefficient source of points for his team green kicks to center shoots from the elbow tries yet again it's rebounded by Leonard Leonard's got his third rebound tonight. Man, if he's missing those kind of good looks, his team is in some serious trouble. It's McCollum with the drive. Again, the Trailblazers good for two. That's a great read on the pick and roll by McCollum. The defender backing up leaves him no hope of affecting that shot. There's the screen. Here's Oubre. C.J. McCollum with the rebound. Really shocking he didn't take advantage of that golden opportunity there. He needs to be much better in that situation. Curry against Sadoransky. Curry passes to Harkins. Green with the block. And he's able to get it back. And that one, good. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Now, here's Sadoransky. He's got seven. Howard kicks to Sedaransky. Passes to Rivers. Just five on the clock. Three-pointer. That shot missing. Now Portland takes it the other way. Outside Curry. Inside. Harkless with it. Working on Green. And Harkless slams it in. 
And how about the execution on that play? The screen was set up in exactly the right spot. And the finish wasn't too bad either. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny how you see so many picks, but this one sets up the defense well. No one rotates over. Bang. Out of bounds. Wizards ball as Washington keeps possession. Al Farouk Aminu, he's checked in for Portland. And a switcher also for Washington. Beals checked in. And there's a foul. It's on C.J. McCollum. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And that's his fourth, and no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it this soon. Markeith Morris has checked in for the Wizards. Here's Beal. Here's Beal. It's good on the putback. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you think his team would have the lead. Curry kicks to Leonard. Back to Curry. Leonard with a screen on Zadaransky. Curry can't get it to go. And somehow, some way, he couldn't get that one to fall from in between. Got to take advantage of the weak defense when you can. And here's Leonard from three. And another three for Portland. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Sadaransky, the pass to Morris. Over Aminu. Morris kicks to Rivers. Sadaransky has screen on McCollum. Rivers can't get it to go. I know it's physically impossible, but he's got to be kicking himself. He knows he's got to make those. Aminu with the bucket. And, and offensively, they seem to have turned a corner. Washington's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Sadaransky, the pass to Rivers. Pass to Beal. Screened by Howard. Lock at six. And Beal kicks to Rivers. But they get it back. And that's a nice job on the offensive glass there. That, that'll let them work the clock even more. Sadaransky, the pass to Beal. Good on the three-point shot. Beal's got eight points. I mean, letting that guy shoot freely from out there, he's going to destroy you from the perimeter if you do that. Now McCollum, 22 points for him. Leonard with a screen on Rivers. McCollum loses the defender with the screen and drills the jumper. McCollum's got 24 points. Screen by Howard. And Sedaransky kicks to Howard. Beal gets a wide open look. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. And that's now 11 points for Beal. A good decision right there from Dwight. Excellent awareness on that particular play. McCollum with the screen for Curry. The pass to Leonard. Curry on the wing. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. Yeah, you can see they're waking up after what was a sluggish first half for them offensively. They've been much more accurate from the field since halftime. Now here's Beal. 11 points in the game. Howard setting the pick for Beal. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Leonard's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Parklets the pass to Aminu. McCollum against Rivers. McCollum outside. And oh, he hits the buzzer, Peter! Yeah, now they are firing on all cylinders. That shot puts three more onto their lead as we head to the fourth. C.J. McCollum, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Portland Trailblazers. They kept going to him again and again, and he delivered with a monster quarter. And we'll be right back after this. Terry Stotts had some advice for his team. Let's hear what he had to say. Hey, good job defensively. Good job on dropping on the rolls. They keep rebounding. Don't lose men in transition. Well, Terry praising his guys, GA, bringing it on the defensive end. 
and they've done just that so far. They just have to be able to continue with that mindset. And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. Our fourth quarter action underway presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. On the floor for Portland, we've got C.J. McCollum. Swanigan is out there with Collins. And it's Trent in at the shooting guard. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball. Game is so wide open now, Brent. Such a great pace. Does that put more strain on, on bigger players physically? I think it's putting strain on everybody. I think last year we saw... Uh, Regardless of size. Yeah, injuries yeah. To, to every position, mm -hmm. the key guys at every position. I think that some of the, the physical motions that players have to perform in games because they're covering more ground and in susceptible positions, it's happening to everybody. The issue with the big guys, Kevin, is they're not playing. Less of them are getting more important time on the floor, so it's a, it's a strain on everybody. He kicks it to McCollum, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And this has been an area of great improvement for him. McCollum shot under 70% at the line in each of his first two seasons, but really picked up his pace since then. First free throw is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Smith sets the pick for Brown. Cans it from downtown. That screen made it impossible for the defense to put up any kind of fight. Trent passes to McCollum. To the middle. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Mahimi. Stolen by Collins. And that one, good. Certain guys can play within themselves and still dominate. You played along one of the best that you saw up close in Tim Duncan. One of the things I think about with Tim is how many numbers he left on the board, Kevin. The way that Coach Popovich played him, minimal minutes, touches when needed most, where Tim usually came through, but how much more dominant he truly could have been. And he didn't care about numbers, did he? Not at all. He yeah. cared about one number, and that's putting W's yeah. on mm -hmm. the board. But how many more things Tim Duncan would have led categorically in the history of the NBA at the power forward position, but overall, the numbers would have been staggering. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Here now, the upcoming schedule for the Portland Trailblazers. On Thursday, they'll begin a long road trip starting in Orlando and going up against the Magic. And then on Saturday, they'll be facing Hassan Whiteside and the Miami Heat. And when you look at that Pacers matchup, that's where you have got to bring your A game, especially when you know you're going to be fighting an uphill battle all night long. No good on that one. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Turner's checked in. And the second free throw, good. The Trailblazers have gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Trent passes to Lehman. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. And the rejection by Mahimi. Second shot opportunity. Green for two points. And it's Washington's ball. And here's Meeks. And here's Brown outside. Another shot. Swanigan pulls it in. Here's Trent. Again, the Trailblazers score. To leave a guy like that wide open from range, big mix up. Brown kicks to Meeks. 
About a quarter of the players in the NBA were born outside the USA. Uh, Brent, could that percentage swell to half within a couple decades? I, I don't think we're ever going to get that far uh, with foreign-born players, but it's exciting to see all the representation uh, around the league. We've certainly had some standouts, and I'm, I'm a little bit sad that this year might be the last be one of the most uh, incredible players, if not the best European player the league's ever seen in Dirk Nowitzki, probably retiring in Dallas after the year. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Six to shoot. Here's Swanigan, covered by Smith. Out of bounds, Washington takes possession. Washington's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Brown against Turner. Smith with a screen on Turner. Here's Brown. Rebound by the Trailblazers. And you know what? You can't get a better screen. Frees him up beautifully, but he just fails to capitalize. Oh, man, he'd love to have that one back. He just does everything right doesn't get the finish and you just get the sense the whole period he's been a bit out of sync yeah, sometimes you just can't figure out what's wrong but he keeps trying to push through fouling like that isn't how you get back in the game Nick Stauskas is checked in for the Trailblazers and a switcher also for Washington John Walls checked in for Brown Swanigan kicks to Collins Here's Tauskas. He's guarded by Meeks. The shot by Turner no good. Yeah, I think the defense made an impact on that play, making the shooter feel a bit uncomfortable on release. Around the world, Brent, we've seen the NBA take a role in helping youngsters learn to play the game of basketball the right way. So incredible what Basketball Without Borders has done with uh, the NBA Junior program expanding itself last year in Treviso for the first time. The NBA doing a, a combine for EuroLeague players so they can start a database of, of the older professional, younger professional players playing overseas. It's a global game. Adam Silver is doing a remarkable job of promoting the game, and we're in a great place, Kevin. Now here's Turner. There's a screen. And the rejection by Smith. One-on-one -on -one fast break. And a wide-open look for Porter. Offensive rebound. And Jody Meeks gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And in the post, Wall's got a pretty well-developed game for a point guard. He can navigate his way through the big bodies with very few problems. Jeff Green has checked in for Jason Smith. Here's Stauskas. He's guarded by Meeks. Stauskas dishes to Turner. It's stolen by Green. Oh, and a fast break for the Wizards. Green leading the charge. Yeah, and the work they've done at the line has been impressive here in the second half. That's his first personal foul. Shooting for Washington. Jeff Green at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Green. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. And both free throws good for Green. Do you think it seems like young players are more receptive to stints in the G League than they were in the past? I, I feel that way. Seems Kevin. that way, yeah. Like the, the, the stigma of what was used to be the, the D League, and maybe it was because that was, those were the grades that I had, that you felt a little weird about it. But now that it's the G League, and now that, like we talked about, almost half the players last year had some kind of touch with the G League, I think that, that stigma has mostly gone away. Are you saying you were a G student? Well, when I gave my mom a report card, she said, G, you got four A's.
pass to Wall. And here's Porter. Mahimi a screen. Oh, Porter in position. Hammers the alley oop through. And he pulls off the Houdini to bake that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley oop. There's the pick. There's a screen by Collins. Passes it to Stauskas. Here's Lehman. Six to shoot. Shot by Collins, no good. And forcing the miss there. He just knows how to pressure you defensively. You hear a lot about rim protection. This is a good example of how valuable it can be. Well, in the summer of 2017, when Otto Porter signed that four-year, $107 million contract with the Wizards, it was widely questioned. Well, it's been worth every penny thus far as he's become one of the best small forwards in the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. And that small forward position that Porter plays, maybe the most important position in the league. Uh, you think of LeBron James. You think of uh, Greg uh, KD. Yeah, and Porter able to kind of hold his own on both ends. The, the Wizards most impactful defensive player. He takes on those big time players night in and night out. And Porter drops them both. We hear a lot about small market teams being anxious about retaining their own star players. Is that overblown or do you think there is reason for concern on their part? Do, do we think that players are not going to get recognized if they play in the small market by the national media if they're one of the best players? Well, look Oklahoma City, look at Milwaukee with Anacacumbo. I mean, they're all getting recognized. Yeah, I think these ideas have gone by the wayside for a lot of players and they want the best opportunity for they're playing and their best opportunity to shine no matter where that is so it's a bit of an archaic argument in my opinion Kevin the way it is that we see guys nowadays and take the small market thing out about it there's one market it's called the NBA mm -hmm. here's Turner following the basket by John Wall and finished off by Nurkic. Well, Nurkic has a big showing great energy there collecting the rebound and scoring. John Wall, Derrick Rose, and Russell Westbrook came into the league around the same time. All of them in the conversation for Show most two. athletic big point guard in league history. Of the three, uh, I think John Wall, the most prolific playmaker, always looking to create for his teammates. And that one falls for John Wall. And John Wall is such a multifaceted game, it almost feels wrong to call him a pure point guard. But that's what he is, isn't he? Just loves to set up his teammates. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And he can score at a high level, but it helps him as a playmaker. Guys thrive playing alongside him because he commands so much attention. And so Wald nails both of them. Do you see a lot of player tampering right now in the NBA? Well, how do you define it, Kevin? You know, if a player wants to go out and recruit other players that may be under contract with another team. I see that a lot then, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it happens all the time. Uh, players talking about what are you thinking about doing and about, wow, don't you think this would be great if we could get together on the floor in 2021? Let's try to But management that doing it management, is a completely different animal. Management yeah. cannot do it, although some teams have walked that tightrope mm -hmm. a, little, a, a little bit to the point where they've fallen off in recent years but the idea of players not ever talking to one another about the potential of being together come on right it's always happening here is Lillard following Markeith Morris's three Lillard the pass to Nurkic Porter against Turner outside Curry 18 feet out great D that time from Beal this is when you're just surprised that a guy would miss that kind of look the defense really did not do a lot there hits the three-point bomb are we sure that's the same player guys he looks completely different what confidence he's playing with and look how engaged he is on both ends to the inside Morris with the block 
And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wall. Trailblazers leading by 17. Here's Aminu. The slam dunk by Aminu. That gives him the double double. 10 points and 11 rebounds. Now how about a guy six foot nine possessing that athleticism and then the skill to put the ball on the deck shown by Aminu? But they'll get another chance. Yeah, maybe a little luck, maybe a little bit of heart. Both of those at play here. He's getting every offensive rebound. And the call will be against Yusuf Nurkic. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. Two shots. First one falls for him. Well, you look at some of the analytics, and the best-rated player on the Wizards might surprise you. None other than one Otto Porter Jr. And he's really become an impact player at both ends of the floor. Uh, one of the glue guys on this squad, he just impacts the game in so many ways, and sometimes it escapes unnoticed. Now here's Curry. Screened by Nurkic. It's stolen by Morris. And Wall. Here we go now. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And Wall has said he wants to be in the MVP conversation moving forward. A terrific floor general with unreal athleticism. Shooting two. That's good from Wall. And Greg, last season there were some signs that maybe some of his teammates didn't like playing with John Wall. Why would they say that? You know, Wall sits almost every season in the top three in assists. Not a stat you associate with selfishness. Sometimes it's really about personalities. So one for two that time at the strike. Yeah, sometimes in a game you settle a little bit before settling in. And right now, I think he's a big factor in how they're getting to the line. And it's out of bounds to Portland. I'll retain possession. And stolen by Howard. Down low. And Wall gets it to go in on the assist by Howard. Howard's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And that's a foul called on Bradley Beal. That'll be his second foul of the game. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. Porter with the steal. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will take it. Here's Lillard. On the wing, Turner. Over Porter. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Wizards trail by 14. Here's Beal. And finished off by Beal. He is still commanding a lot of defensive attention. Howard just keeps his head up and finds the open man. Got a piece of it. Beal. Oh, and the dunk by Beal. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And, Greg, nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play defensively. Well, it fires up your teammates and the fans when you make plays like that out in the open court and explosive. I tell you what, I'd settle for having as many points in this game as he has rebounds. And he's just working and working and working tireless. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here.
first free throw is good. Well, you got quicks, you got instincts, and you got aggression. Damian Lillard capable of taking over just about any time he wants. And the Trailblazers making a change here. McCollum's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. There's 117 left in the fourth. And Wall kicks to Porter. Mobbed up there for Howard. Nurkic with the block. Excellent defense by Nurkic on that play. He made sure that shot was not going anywhere near the rim. And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for the Trailblazers. Tonight, they seem committed to the three-point shot. That, that was the bread and butter. Fortunately, they made enough of those, but, but sometimes it was quantity over quality. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And guys, one of the steady and outstanding players putting in another impressive performance. It was a big time outing for C.J. McCollum. Well, he could not be stopped on offense. Super efficient tonight. There wasn't a lot the defense could do. Ball against Lillard. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. At the line for the Wizards, John Wall. At the line for two. Shooting two. Good from Wall. And so John Wall nails both of them. Stauskas. He's covered by Beal. And so Portland takes this one, but by a big margin. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. And once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Damian, it looks like this team's progress can be measured by your improvement at the defensive end. Do we see that tonight? Um, we, we made some mistakes, like every other basketball team does, but I think we did a great job of making adjustments. You know, we got a little more physical. Um, you know, we did a great job of that. And that led to a big win, Damian. Thanks for your time, man. Kevin? David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. See you later.